Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. Well, the school year is finished, and that was the fastest year I've ever had, but I'm pretty sure I say that every year. This year was extra sweet because it was my, we celebrated my 20th anniversary at teaching at this very same preschool. So it was just, it was very bittersweet. I was excited for the anniversary, so sad to have to say goodbye to our children. They're gone now, our classroom is pretty much empty and it's echoing in here and it feels so bare, but I thought I would talk about how, what we did to pack up our classroom for the summer. So, as we approach our last day of school, my director has a list that we go through, just a checklist to make sure that we have everything cleaned up. And we have to make sure we go through our cabinets, we check all of our paint bottles, toss the paint bottles that are empty, and then we just kind of clean and tidy every single cabinet, just getting rid of the stuff that it might be missing caps or whatever. Same with our markers, crayons, stamp pads, stampers, all of it. We just tidy up each and every cabinet. Now, because um, our preschool is growing and we now have four different classes, we share a lot of stuff. But our classroom is the only one that's upstairs. The pre-K classes are downstairs right next to the big storage room. So not everything needs to go back down there. We've always had our own share of art materials and things like that. And those things will stay in the cabinets. She just asked that everything be tidied up. Then everything is gonna be removed from our classroom and they're going to wax our floors. And if you've been following me for a while, you remember last year when I was standing in the middle of my room, shiny floors, nothing yet in the classroom. There's something so exciting about bringing all that furniture back in again and rearranging. It's really like starting fresh. Another thing that we were asked to do is to remove just about everything from the walls, even our bulletin board paper, unless it's something that if it's it's still in really good shape. Some teachers will keep theirs up. I happen to like to start fresh each year. It's the teacher's choice, but we removed all their artwork, of course. Everything went into a bag that they took home on the last day. So here I am in my pretty much empty classroom that's echoing. And again, if you guys followed me last summer, you remember this was a constant problem when I was videotaping our summer progress. It echoes the, just the way that this room sits. So. I'm now going to start my summer vacation, but my summer vacation is really just from teaching. This is the time when I really put even more into my website and all of my social media platforms and this YouTube channel. So if you want to get all of my summer videos where I'm going to be really focusing on reader emails, tips, um, getting the classroom ready for the new school year, make sure to subscribe to this channel because you want to see each video that I publish. And I'm going to be doing it kind of by week by week. And if you also press the bell icon, that will give you, that'll give you an alert letting you know when each video was published. So I'm so excited about this. This is the first year that I'm really gonna really focus on a summer series answering your questions. Again, if you have any questions, drop me an email at cheryl at teaching two and three year olds dot com. And if I haven't answered those questions in a previous email, I will consider answering them in one of our videos that I'm doing this summer. And tell a teacher, if you have teacher friends who are also looking for more tips, especially new teachers, Tell them to subscribe and also subscribe to my newsletter. All of those links are in the description. Thanks for watching.